All right, uh, so we are back at Dark Souls. Not sure which, uh, which video this is, but, um, I'm losing track of the numbers. But anyway, we are going to go buy something called a Transient Curse, and, uh, we're going to kill, uh, another boss. Uh, but first, we are going to want to uh, buy just a couple of these. Uh, yeah, we're going to go from... Uh, yeah, I don't think that rat is going to follow me. Okay. Anyway, we're going to go to the end of this hall, and we're going to talk to the guy that can uh, sell you some stuff. We're going to buy uh, two transient curses, um, and basically these are items that, uh, it allows you to, um, attack ghosts, um, which is why we need it, but, yeah, these are 4,000 each, um, so yeah, they are quite expensive, but they are going to be necessary. Um, thankfully, as we, um, as we kill, uh, some of the ghosts, uh, we will actually be able to, uh, cause a lot of the ghosts actually do drop transient curses, so once we get a couple and we kill a couple of ghosts with it, um, we'll be able to continuously get more and then when they run out, uh, we can just keep using more, and that's basically what we're going to do. Okay, should I go... Hmm, where is the closest? Hmm. Where was the... I don't, I don't know where this goes, actually. I'm going to... Undead Parish. Okay, okay. That's... That's where we want to go. The Undead Parish. Um, so anyway. We're going to come down here. And actually, I am going to see if I can upgrade... My, uh... My raw... Is a Y-hander. Get that, uh, plus four. There we go, yep, raw weapon, let's go. We have a very strong raw weapon now. Not as strong as, uh, not as strong as, uh, my Black Knight weapon, but pretty strong. And this is an occult club. This, if we upgrade this to plus five, I believe we get the occult, uh, the occult weapon achievement. Uh, where is my Zoi Hander? I want to see how good it is. Okay, it does 300, which actually is pretty good, because uh, it does like uh, 10 elevenths of the damage of, uh, of my Black Knight sword, but anyway, oh, I should have repaired my pyromancy flame, but whatever. Oh, we're not really going to be using that, um, but anyway, we're going to go to the, uh, the, uh, the deep root or dark root basin. Oh, nice, we got another blooming purple moss clump. Perfect for toxic negation. Alright, we just need to keep on going. To oh, I think I already went the wrong way a little bit. Um That's right, we need to go. 
to the left. Okay, die, bitch. Alright. Yeah, we just need to go... Uh, up here, yep. That's right. All right, now before before I finish um, this tutorial, I might actually have. I, I don't know if I want to get all the uh, weapons up on screen, or if I'm just uh, just going to do that off screen. But I do want to get the gamer score from achieving best weapon through like this type of reinforcement, best weapon through this type of reinforcement. I already got the raw reinforcement. Um, standard reinforcement is going to be the hardest because we need to get that shit up to plus 15. And our uh, Zweihander, we only had to get up to uh, plus 5, ascend it, and then get that up to plus 5 again. Uh, but anyway, we're going to head over to this bonfire. And... Uh, I think we're going in the right order. I hope we're going in the right order, because if not, I'm going to have to backtrack and uh, go do something else first, and then come back, and then that's just going to be a hassle. But anyways, we're going to go through here. We're going to go out here right now. And uh, I wonder... Actually, these guys, I think you can farm um, dragon scales from. It's a pretty rare drop, I think like 5%, but... Uh, but how many? Oh, a thousand, okay. Yeah, they drop a thousand. Um, still not as good as the uh, Duke Archives um, enemies that drop like 1,200, and they're a lot easier to kill. These guys also shoot lightning at you. Which makes it better that, um, okay, let's, oh, I died, okay, well, the Silver Knight armor is giving us, um, some resistance to the, um, lightning strike that, uh, that's coming at us from the dragons, but, um, but yeah, it's all good. I also stopped to pick up that, uh, that item. Which, uh... Oh yeah, so I found out that the uh, symbol of Avarice, this like really cool thing right here, um, it apparently boosts item discovery, um, so it's good for farming, but not really for like playing the actual game because um, you lose health every time you have it. It's like 5 HP every single second, which... We're at, we're about at 1,200, I think, so if we, like, take 1,200, divided by 5, that's going to be, 1,200 divided by 5, that's going to be, like, two thousand. No, that can't be right. I, I don't know. I don't know how long it would take us to uh, to die just from wearing that. But you know, either way, we're gonna come up this ladder, and hopefully the drakes don't follow you. Um, okay, let's hope we don't die. Let's hope we get up this um, this flight of uh, stairs. I I don't think we're actually supposed to go here first, but we did get a ring. The red tier stone ring, which gives you, it boosts your attack when your HP is low. I wonder, actually, that this might be a bad idea, but I'm, I'm going to do it anyway. Oh yeah, that was, 
that was kind of epic. It would have been more epic if I didn't die, but I like landed on a shit ton of dragons. Oh well, we're going back to Firelink. Firelink Shrine, let's go. Alright. Actually, I am going to find out where the uh, last Firekeeper soul is. Okay, so we already got the one in New Londa Ruins, White Hound, Duke's Archive, Quailag's Sister, Dark Moon Nitus, Okay, so it looks like uh, the seventh one we have to, uh, we have to let uh, the Golden Knight, uh, Lutrake, I think is his name. I, I don't really know the pronunci uh, pronunciation. Uh, but anyway, we're going to go down here. We're just, uh, we don't need any purging stones. We just need a transient curse. Uh, so, yeah. This, actually, I'm going to stop at fire. Link and just rest. I don't know if I rested there, but I just want to make sure. I don't want to have to, like, teleport again. Uh, but yeah, it looks like we have, uh, we have our Estus up as much as it can be without letting this, uh, Firekeeper die. Apparently, in order to get it this high, it actually has to be, like, you actually have to kill a couple of the, uh, the fire keepers, because I'm pretty sure that we would only have plus four if we didn't kill the two fire keepers earlier in the game. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna step on this. And, uh, yep. Yeah. Um, in the very first, um, we haven't been here in a long, long, long time first video, um, we went here to get a, a Firekeeper soul, actually, and we went past these guys here, but, uh, here we go. As we, um, I think here is a good place to, uh, use our transient curse. Uh, they will wear out, uh, after... A little while but uh, they aren't like they, they don't wear off quickly um, you'll, pro you'll probably have to do it like once or twice um, and these ghosts actually do drop more of them uh, if you get really unlucky and you don't have any more drops you can buy some more um, yeah anything here to do there's a guy just Oh, there we go. See, we even got two more uh, transient curses. Oh, uh, we don't even technically need to buy them then, but uh, still probably would be a better idea to buy them anyway. But we got uh, two more, which is very nice. Okay. Just kill all the ghosts. Uh, sometimes they are a little bit hard to see. Um, uh, yeah, kill them. Oh, yeah, one thing that we are going... Uh, okay. There we go. One thing that we actually are going to need 
equipped is the the Covenant of Artorius. We need that ring on for the next boss fight. Um, you will die in the boss room if you don't have that ring on. So you do need that ring. It was the ring we got when we killed Sif the Great Wolf. It is the reason why Sif is required. And uh, I don't know why she's attacking us through a wall, but... Uh, to go through here. Okay. This section right here isn't um, too difficult. It's um, there we go. We got two more transient curses. Uh, so yeah, we're actually looking really good right now. But uh, let's go through this uh, this fog gate. We're gonna go up. We are going to, is this a, this, okay, we can kick the ladder, that will provide a shortcut uh, for later. Got a large soul. Okay, we're going to go right here. And, uh, okay, we got one following. I just, I don't want these guys to like build up at all, so I'm killing as many as possible. Okay, we're gonna go left here. Gonna. Oh man, I don't want to make that jump. I'm not gonna. There is something over there. I don't know what it is, but I don't want to. I'll, I'll probably make the jump later. I just don't want to do that right now. Oh man, we are getting hit by a lot of these. Man, okay. Seriously, come on, come on. Go to where I can hit you. Okay, there are, oh man, yeah, there are quite a few right now. All right, we're gonna go into this room. Um, there we go. Oh, what the fuck? Ugh. Seriously? Man, they just, they, they just appear out of nowhere. Like, come up here. See what happens. Okay. Um, back here, there is a sorcerer you can talk to. Uh, we'll give you a key. I do think you need it. Um, so go up here, get that. Um, I think you can also kill uh, her, but uh, there really isn't a need to. I notice in a lot of uh, speed runs, people just uh, shoot arrows at her. Um, just because I guess it's quicker. Uh, but yeah, you don't need to uh, kill her um, at all. But yeah, let's kill these ghosts. Come on. Come here, bitch. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. What the fuck was that? Oh my... Okay, I'm... I'm. That's why. Okay, yep. I, I know what's going on. I ran out of transient curses. Um, basically, what happened was uh, the transient curse ran out, and now I, uh, I need to put it on again. Um, so yeah, that'll fix the problem. Yeah, if you start like getting hit by that, by them like that, and you can't really attack or do anything, that means that your curse is no longer on. Um, uh, so yeah, every time that happens, just okay. We don't even have to jump to get to whatever item this is. It is green titanite shard. Nice. All right, we're gonna go up here. Gonna get a uh, large soul. Okay, we're gonna go into this room right here. Okay, and we are going to open this door. And we're gonna push this right here. This will open the door. That is the 
Valley of the Drakes area that we were at at the very beginning where we got the red tier stone ring. Um, the one we're not even using. Uh, but anyway, I think this lever goes uh, somewhere. But now that now that all the water is gone, we can actually uh, get to the boss. This next boss, honestly, is not difficult as long as you have a really good weapon. If you have a really good weapon that does a lot of damage, you should be fine. Okay, we're down here now. I, I, try to, I think I should kill the boss first, though, before exploring this area, but eh, maybe not. Uh... Yeah, we'll, we'll go down here and uh, explore a little bit. Um, probably uh, some good stuff down here. There we go. Okay. Right, we're gonna enter the fog here, and yeah, more of those guys are gonna appear. I'm just gonna run past them. Okay, he is pretty, pretty consistent in following me. Okay, whatever, I'm gonna kill him. Ah, oh, fuck. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Alright, another one of these guys. Alright. Titanite chunk. Alright. Uh, if you want titanite chunks, uh, just kill these guys. Um, yeah, we just got a couple. I think this is... Yep. Invisible wall. Oh, there's a guy here. Oh, there's a chest too. There, there has to be something good. Back. There we go. Yeah. Killing them the Dark Souls way. Let's go in here. Oh shit! I didn't do the mimic test, but didn't matter. Uh, Titanite chunk is in there. Another one. So yeah, we are. We are. Building up the Titanite. Another large soul. Nice. Yeah, we're gonna get some levels. Okay, now at this point, I'm not gonna fight these guys. There are a couple. I think we can run over. Yep. Right here is gonna be our boss. Uh, we're, in order to start the boss fight, I'm just going to drink. Uh, not really necessary, but I do want to do it. The next boss fight, um, you are going to want your weapon to do a lot of damage. Like, mine does 330, and uh, yeah, you're going to want um, to do a lot of damage as quickly as possible. That is the goal of the boss fight. It is a very difficult fight if you can't do a lot of damage. In a short amount of time, but if you can, it is honestly going to be really, really easy. I am going to show you how to deal with this boss, but it's basically a DPS uh, check. Uh, DPS standing for um, damage per second. But yeah, we're in the abyss now. We take the full damage. We do need that um, ring on that I told you about earlier. You will die right there if you don't have it. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to come up to this guy, and there are going to be four of them. When the other two show up, or when the other three show up, if they all show up at the same time, you're fucked. That is why you want to kill this one as fast as possible, and not, not get hit too much. Uh, but your goal 
right here should be uh, they don't do too much damage to you it's just that there are more of them they will start yeah see I'm not even dodging I'm just hitting I'm two-handing my weapon and just hitting 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 the next one is here we're gonna follow him some of their attacks do do uh, some actual like if you get half your health down um, it will be a good idea to of course um, drink uh, but for right now yeah we don't really we're not even dodging we're just okay okay he's gonna do a pretty intense attack but um, that would only kill us I think that is number two we need, I think there are two more. We need to kill the next one. Yeah, I'm, I'm killing these before the next ones uh, can show up. But you don't want all four of them near you at the uh, same time. But honestly, in my opinion, this is a really, really easy boss fight. Um, I struggled with it a lot on my first playthrough. Um, but then I got my sword upgraded to plus five uh, with the Black Knight Great Sword. And after that, I... After I did that, I beat him my first try with the uh, newly upgraded sword. Um, so yeah, um, really, really easy in my opinion. One of the easiest boss fights in the game. Uh, if you are struggling, oh man, we're even we're killing them way before the next one uh, shows up. Like we are killing them fast. And now we we could be more careful with this guy though, because. Um, we don't have to kill him quickly anymore, but I do think we knocked him out. Yep, pretty, pretty easy. Um, did it even die once? <laughs> Alright, we got our achievement. Alright, um, another thing I'm gonna mention is that, uh, I'm pretty sure if you, uh, this is just a fun fact, but I'm pretty sure if you don't have the Lord Vessel by now, you can actually come and fight this boss. And if you rest at the bonfire here, before being able to teleport, I believe you get a, uh, dead save. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna level up though, because we can get two levels. Yeah, we should get that. We should get that endurance up to one. 60 nice i don't think endurance or stamina at least can go any higher but uh everything can go up to like 99 though anyway we're gonna war two and the area is basically done i'm thinking we should just there are two more bosses to kill before the final boss We already killed two of them. I'm going to actually, you know, I'm going to save the hardest for last. We are going to Daughter of Chaos. If you did not stop at the Daughter of Chaos bonfire, you are going to need to make your way down to Quail Egg's domain. But yeah, this is a bonfire that is now worthless. Um, but anyway, uh, yeah, the next video will start here. Uh, we're already 30 minutes in, uh, so yeah, I'm just my last video was like two hours, but, uh, you know, this will be, this will be the end of this video. Um, thank you for watching, and, uh, next video we're going to get, uh, we're gonna get through the demon ruins.